guys, Julia here. Today I'm going to be talking about pen names because I have a pen name. When I was getting ready to publish my debut novel, The Scavenger, I was kind of unsure as to how I should publish using my name. My full name is Polish. It's kind of complicated and it's very hard to say and spell. When you see a book on the shelf, if you want to remember it, it's important to have a name that's easy to remember and that you can draw to mind pretty quickly. My last name just wasn't going to do it. So I wasn't really sure if I should choose a pen name, what comes with choosing a pen name, and how I should go about doing that. So I'm going to share a little bit about my experience as to how I came to J.L. Willow. So there's a few reasons why people might choose to write under a pen name. The first reason is, like me, if your name is really complicated. It's important to have a name that you can recall easily and that if you see on a shelf you'll be able to recognize it. If it's really super complicated, readers will just skim over it and they won't bother remembering it. Other people choose pen names if they're writing in multiple genres. I know some writers that write in the nonfiction and they use their full name and then if they write in something like fantasy or fiction, they'll use a shortened version of their name or they'll use initials like I do. Other authors might choose to write under a different name if their name has already been taken by a big name author. For example, if your name is Stephen King and you're trying to start writing and creating a name for yourself, because there's already a big name author named Stephen King, in order to make sure that you don't get confused with the real Stephen King, you might want to write under a pen name and find a different name that still conveys who you are as a person. Other people just choose to write under a pen name because they want to create a different persona. They want to differentiate their writing selves from their regular everyday life selves. It doesn't matter why you're choosing to write under a pen name, but if you're deciding that a pen name is right for you, it's time to put a little bit of thought into what that pen name is going to be. I'm actually very lucky in that my Polish last name actually translated into something that I could use as my pen name. My last name translated into White Willow from Polish, so I decided to take that Willow and use my first and middle initials to create J.L. Willow. For some writers, it's that easy. If you have a complicated last name that you can translate into English, you might get something that you can use. Some writers choose to use the initials from their names to create completely new names altogether. There's all sorts of name generators online that you can use to try to find names that work well for you. Other people just choose completely different names that have nothing to do with their original names, and that's okay too. There's no right way to go about choosing a pen name. It all depends on what works best for you as a writer and for your audience and for your genre. The one thing that you do have to make sure when you're choosing a pen name is that that pen name doesn't already exist. When my name translated into White Willow, I originally was going to go with the name J.L. White, but upon looking on Goodreads and on Amazon, I found that that name was already taken, but J.L. Willow wasn't, so I was able to use J.L. Willow. When you're choosing a pen name, it's important to go do a quick Goodreads and Amazon search to make sure that there's no one already writing under that name. So that's how I came to arrive at my pen name, J.L. Willow. Do any of you guys write under pen names? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your experiences in the comments below. If you would like to buy my debut novel, The Scavenger, it is available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle formats. You can also buy a signed copy via my website, so I'll leave those links down below. Thank you for stopping by!